What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to use your Diamond VC500 or for that matter any capture card. So let's get started. The thing you'll need is an Xbox in this way. It comes with your Xbox and then a computer and uh, next the actual Diamond VC500 itself. Uh, capture card, whatever, and your and a wire that looks like this. If you're using the Diamond VC500, then it will come with that, and then three splitters, which it does not come with. So yeah, let's get started. First, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to just take all your splitters and just plug them in. It's hard to do while I'm holding the camera, but mm. all right, you got it. So once you're done putting it in, yeah. All right, once you're done putting it in, it should look something like that. And then now this is where these wires come in. So what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to take this wire from your Xbox. Sorry, it's really taking my dog back here. Okay, so you're going to want to take that wire from your Xbox and match it up with these. So let's split it on the colored end. So one, I guess yellow to yellow. Red to red. And white to white. And once you're done with that, it will look something like this. Okay. Now. This is where this comes in. Okay. So take this right here and go red to red, yellow to yellow, and white to white. I'll come back to you when that's done. You get the idea. And I showed up with what looks like a mess of wires, but really it's just a split connection. Now, this is where the capture card and these wires come in. Those ones match up with your TV. So, yellow to yellow. I don't know if you can see that, you probably can, but it doesn't matter. White to white, and last but not least, red to red. Now, you take your USB on the end of your capture card, take your computer, and find an open USB slot. So I have one right there. I don't think you can see it, so it's on the inside. Right there. So. Now, what I'll do is I'll plug it in. One. Right, when you're done, it should look like this. Uh -huh. Up to your Xbox and up to your TV. And now, you're gonna turn on your computer. If you haven't already um, installed the disc that comes with your capture card, the uh, um, Diamond VC 500 disc or whatever, it comes with your capture card. Anyway, yeah, once you've installed that, I'll make a video on how to do that if you're having trouble with it, like my friend. And yeah, 
so but this is if you've already installed it it's really easy it has tips to guide you through oh type my password wrong hard for me to type with the finger. Oh, and I have a lot of clips on my desktop. Because yesterday I had to record with my friend to help him with his talent show video. And he recorded with his webcam and we split the clips in half. Alright. So now you're going to have one touch video capture on your desktop. You installed it and you're gonna open that up. And now, this is just since it's on. A lot of times, what happens when you open it up is you'll have a green bar at the bottom. You just exit it out like this. Um, it's hard to see this whole thing. Now, open it back up. Oh, I'm gonna turn the lights off. It'll be easier to see. Yeah, it's like six in the morning here. Cause I just got up. Cause today is the day that I have off of school. It's the day before the last day of school. And when your Xbox is not on, you'll get those jumping things. What you want to do is you're gonna take. Your Xbox. Turn it on. Turn your TV on. And there you go. Enter your cord, just press that button and then stop, press the button below it. Bye.